to try it so I decided to flavor it rosemary and lemon I did I think I showed you guys in this video actually hey hold on you see him stinky stinky so I did rosemary and lemon lemon rosemary and I did like a quarter of a lemon juice in each bottle um probably about 14 ounces of liquid and then I did uh like a, a stick and a half or whatever of rosemary i don't know how you would measure that a stick what are they called anyway so i refrigerated them yesterday um <laughs> i'm just i'm nervous about this it looks like there's a lot of yeast on the bottom or something so i'm gonna shake it up i don't know if you're supposed to do that so maybe i'm just messing everything up right now um, I'm not going to strain it because I don't have any cheesecloth and that's probably what I would use Just gonna hope I don't get anything in my mouth like the little rosemary pieces. So Unseal it It smells like kombucha It doesn't smell like super strong. So I might have Taken it out too early, but let's taste test it Okay, okay, that's actually really good, just too much lemon. Oh my gosh, too much lemon. <coughs> but that tastes like kombucha. I just made kombucha, what the heck? What the heck, I did it. I think I might let it ferment a little bit longer next time because it doesn't, it doesn't have um, like that super strong taste and then also it doesn't have any carbonation, I don't think. It like did when I first opened it up, but I read that someone said to just let it the second ferment for two days, otherwise your alcohol content can get too high. I don't know if that's true, so if any of you are experienced with making kombucha, please let me know. This is literally my first time ever. It's been like a month process, maybe more, because I had to make the scoby first. Now that I've made the scoby, things will be quicker, and I have my second batch going now, but this is actually really good. I think I like the lemon rosemary. I was gonna do lemon basil, but I did lemon rosemary. That's actually bomb. I'm gonna keep drinking this. Yum! So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys the journey. And I'm gonna keep making kombucha because now I have all the tools to do so. I have the scoby to do so. And now you guys have seen how I did it. Um, I literally just watched YouTube videos as well to learn how. So if you didn't, if none of this is clear enough, which it probably really isn't because I'm not teaching you, um, then just literally search on YouTube how to make a scoby for kombucha. I made it out of an original kombucha from the store. And then you need black tea and sugar. Um, and then actually you can use green tea I think as well, but I did black tea and then I will actually link below 
the big jar that I used and then also these little jars that I used. These are all from Amazon, so I will link them below if you guys want to use the same things. And other than that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, only if you want to, you don't have to, but subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. If you have any tips to make my kombucha better next time and you know what you're doing, please let me know in the comments below. If you make your own kombucha, let me know what your favorite flavor is to make and how you flavor it because I want more ideas for next time and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!